in this lecture we are going to discuss uh, some uh, simple stochastic process uh, starting with the uh, discrete time arrival process that is a Bernoulli process and a continuous time arrival process that is a Poisson process. Followed by that we are going to discuss the simple random walk then we are going to discuss a, a one simple population process which arises in the branching process. Then we are going to discuss the Gaussian process. So, with that the lecture uh, 2 will be over. What is Bernoulli process? Bernoulli process can be created by the sequence of a random variable. Suppose you think of a a random variable x size where i is belong i takes a value 1 2 and so on therefore this is going to be a collection of random variable and uh, each random variable or x size and you can think of x size are going to be a iid random variables and each is uh, coming from the bernoulli trials that means uh, each random variable is a uh, bernoulli distributed each random variable is a Bernoulli distribution and with the parameter p. So, the same thing can be written in the notation form x i takes the x i's are in the notation it is a capital B 1 comma small p that means uh, it is a binomial distribution with the parameters uh, 1 and p that is same as each x size or Bernoulli distributed with the parameter 1 and p. So, now I can so this is going to be a stochastic process or we can say it is a stochastic sequence. Now, I can define another random variable for every n s n is nothing but sum of first n random variables. Suppose you think uh, x i is going to be the outcome of the ith trial. So, the x i can take the value 0 or 1 that means uh, with the probability the x each x i can take the value k if uh, k is equal to 0 with the probability 1 minus p and k taken k can take the value 1 with the probability p. Therefore, each since each x i's are i a d random variable you can come to the conclusion s n is uh, nothing but binomial distribution with the parameters n comma p. Suppose you assume that uh, x i is going to be number of uh, uh, whether the arrival occurs in the i th trial or not if uh, x i takes the value 0 that means uh, no arrival takes place in the i th trial if x i takes the value 1 that corresponding to the i th trial there is an arrival. So, the s n represents s n denotes the number of arrivals in n trials. So, now you can create a stochastic process with the s n where n takes a value 1, 2 and so on therefore, this is going to be a binomial process. So, the x i z takes the value uh, 0 or 1 with the probability uh, 1 minus p and uh, p so each one is going to be Bernoulli distributed therefore, this is going to be a Bernoulli process this x i z are going to form Bernoulli process. The way you have created s n is equal to sum of a first n random variable and each s n is going to be a binomial distribution with the parameters n and p. Therefore, this s n that sequence of s n for n is equal to 1 2 3 binomial process. Therefore, since uh, you have uh, uh, collected uh, arrivals over the uh, over the possible values of 1 2 and so on. Therefore, this is going to be a one of the uh, discrete uh, time arrival process. So, similarly we are going to explain what is the continuous time arrival process whereas, uh, here binomial process this is going to be a discrete time arrival process. Suppose you would like to see the trace of uh, s n 
So, before you go to the trace of S n, we can go for what is a trace or sample path of x i. For, for different values of n is equal to 1, n is equal to 2, n is equal to 3 and so on. If you see each x i z r takes a value 0 or 1, therefore, it can take the value 0 or uh, x 1 can take the value 1 or uh, x 2 can take the value 0 or this can take the value 1 again it can take the value and 1 and 0. So, the possible values of x i z are going to be 0 and 1 therefore, each x i z can take the value 0 in the horizontal line or it can take the 1 till you get the next trial. Similarly, if you make the sample path or the trace of S n the sample path or a, um, a trace of S n since S n is going to be a sum of a first n random variable therefore, the based on the x i takes the value suppose the x 1 takes the value 0 and the suppose x 2 take the value 1 and the suppose x 3 takes the value 1 and so on. So, since x 1 is equal to 0 therefore, S 1 is 0 then at S 2 is same as a x 1 plus x 2 therefore, it takes a value 1 and uh, s 3 is equal to x 1 plus x 2 plus x 3 therefore, that is going to be again you are adding the values therefore, it is going to be a 2 therefore, this is 1 and this is 2. So, based on the x 4 it is going to be 0 or 1 either it can take the value 2 itself or it can go to the 3 therefore, if you see the sample path of uh, s n it is going to be incremented either incremented by 1 or it takes the same value till the next n. Therefore, <coughs> not only you can find out the S n you can not only you can find out the sample path of a n you can get the mean and variance because each S n is going to be a uh, binomial distribution with the parameters n and p. Therefore, the expectation of a S n is going to be n times p and the variance of a S n is going to be n times p into 1 minus p. So, you can able to see the sample path of x i z as well as s n over the different values of n. In discrete time sample paths are sequences. I can also define the new random variable capital T is nothing but number of number of trials up to and including the first that means, uh, suppose uh, it takes the value n that means, uh, for subsequent n minus uh, 1 trials I got the failures or no arrival takes place in the subsequent uh, n minus 1 trial and the nth trial I get the first arrival. That means, uh, the, the t is a random variable to uh, denote uh, how many trials to get the first success or the first arrival or the first arrival. So, if uh, it is going to take the first arrival in the nth trial then the probability of uh, t takes a value n that is same as 1 minus p into n minus 1 into p because all the trials are independent and uh, uh, subsequent n minus 1 trial gives no arrival and uh, the nth trial you get the first arrival. Therefore, this is going to follow a geometrical geometric distribution with the parameter p. So, since you know the distribution of t you can find out the mean and variance because the mean of a geometric distribution is going to be 1 divided by p and the variance of t is going to be 1 minus p divided by the p square. Similarly, I can go for <coughs> finding out what is the probability that it till nth trial I did not get the first or I did not get the first arrival. So, if n plus m at the trial if I am getting the first arrival what is the probability that it is going to take after m trials it get the first arrival that probability you can able to get that is same as the probability of the t takes the value. So, this property is called this 
this property is called memoryless property. Since T is a geometrically distributed and the geometric distribution satisfies the memoryless property that can be visualized in this example the probability of a t minus n is equal to m given that the t takes a value greater than n that is same as what is the probability that the t takes a value small m. That means uh, the right hand side result is independent of the n and uh, it is the same as the distribution of that means uh, the residual uh, arrival number of arrivals that is same as the original arrival distribution therefore this satisfies the memoryless property. So, this is the geometric distribution satisfies the memoryless property in the discrete time and there is another distribution satisfies the memoryless property in the continuous time that is a exponential distribution. So, the way I have related the binomial distribution from the Bernoulli process then I get the binomial process also I, uh, I was able to create the geometric distribution you can create the or you can develop the Pascal distribution or negative exponential distribution the way I have uh, defined the capital T is going to be the number of trials to get the first success or first arrival instead of that if I make another random variable to go for how many trials are needed to get the rth success where r take can take the value greater than or equal to 1. If it is the rth first success is going to happen in the nth trial if r is greater than 1 then I can go for a defining what is a negative binomial distribution for that particular random variable. If r is equal to 1 then that is lined up to be the same uh, the random variable capital T.